Don't be scared. Calm I, down, I calm made down, a, calm down. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. All jokes aside, one of the most important concepts every Muslim should embody in their lives is don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. With the day of Ashura, 10th of Muharram, just around the corner, I feel like most of us are talking about the story of Musa and Fir'aun. And me personally, when, when I reflect on the story of Musa, specifically that in Surah Taha, I find that there's a reoccurring theme or at least a reoccurring phrase, and we see it again, again, and again. And of course, that phrase is, la takhaf, don't be scared. We see it when he throws the staff, khudha wa la takhaf, take it and don't be scared. Even though it's a frightening snake, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching his prophet. And again, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advises him and Harun to go to Fir'aun, la takhafa, don't be scared. We see it again when Musa is facing off with all the magicians. قُلْنَا لَا تَخَفْ إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْأَعْلَى Don't be scared. You're going to win. And this is a concept I cannot stress how important it is for Muslims to embody within their lives. Don't be scared. And the reason why we shouldn't be scared is not because of our physical strength or for our manpower or for whatever worldly reason you can think of. Because when you look at it, Musa alayhi salam was one of the strongest men. They say he had the strength of 10 men. He was able to lift the boulder covering the well that required 10 men to lift. And when uh, Shu'aib's daughter, she gives a testimony, Al-Qawi, he is a strong man. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he doesn't command Musa to not have fear because he's a strong man. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands Musa to not have fear because Allah is with him. Don't be scared, I am with you. And likewise, when Allah commands Musa to strike the sea with his staff, and who's behind them? You have Fir'aun and his armies following after them, ready to kill them. Let's be real about it. There's that fear. And Banu Israel, what did they say? Inna la mudrakun. Verily, we're going to be captured by Fir'aun and his army. We're scared. But Musa alayhi salam, in response, what does he say? Kalla inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with me and he will guide me. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells him when the Red Sea has split into two gigantic, enormous mountains of waves on either side, كَالْثَوْضِ الْعَظِيمِ as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and behind you, you have Fir'aun and his gigantic army following you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling him, don't be scared of Fir'aun and his army and don't be scared of getting drowned, just go. And this is one of the most empowering qualities of a Muslim, to know that they should have no fear, knowing very well that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us. So when Ashura comes and we reflect on the story of Musa and Fir'aun, let us remember this concept. Don't be scared. Jazakallah khairan. Thank you very much. And I hope you've really benefited from this message. If you enjoyed this video and everything else that One Path does and would like to see us produce more content, then please support us. Go to www.onepathnetwork.com you can support us from as little as $1 a day. Much love and appreciation and may Allah bless you all.